we're in like that slow season for NFL football if your team is not part of the NFL playoffs. What started as 14 teams a couple weeks ago is down to four teams, the LA Rams, the San Francisco 49ers, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that being said, for Lions fans who have never really truly been off in playoff contention, we have to start looking for the offseason, and we're already about two or three weeks into that. We've got the senior bowl that they will be, the Lions will be coaching in about a week or so. And we got some things, some draft prospects that we could be looking at. But you know what else we can be looking at? The Detroit Lions landing on NFL Hard Knocks. Now, I have made several videos on my other channel about the NFL, the Detroit Lions, and Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks is an HBO show. I believe it's about five episodes or so that air every week, and they're, they're for an hour or so. And the Lions have been one of the teams that have never been featured on Hard Knocks. The NFL has a choice to force certain teams to be on Hard Knocks. The qualifications needed to avoid a potential force by the NFL are three qualifications. One, you cannot have a rookie head coach. Two, if you've made it to the playoffs the past two years, you're also disqualified. And three, if you've been on any season in the past 10 years. If you don't meet those three qualifications, you can be forced by the NFL to appear on their show, HBO Hard Knocks. The Detroit Lions have been eligible for a couple of years now. We haven't made the playoffs since 2016. The only year that we were not eligible was Matt Patricia's first year as far as in the past five years or so. And then the second year, it was a lot of talk whether the Detroit Lions would be on NFL Hard Knocks. And then they went. 3, 12, and 1 that year, and not much interest was gone into that third year, which wind up being Matt Patricia's last. Now, if a team decides to volunteer to be on Hard Knocks, they can do that. Of course, that choice is up to the NFL. We've had teams volunteer before. But if an NFL team has not volunteered or has not been on it and, and meets those three qualifications, then the NFL can force them to be on. Now, I remember when Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia, I think it was year two, when all that speculation was coming up, could the Detroit Lions wind up on hard knocks? They were like, no, we don't want to be on hard knocks. And to tell you the truth, I would love to see my team on hard knocks, but with Matt Patricia, I don't think that would have been a good fit. He was a dictator, a tyrant, and I think he would have been showing out for the cameras. That's what I think he would do. Dan Campbell has been such a breath of fresh air. I don't want to forget about Brad Holmes as well, that I thought that the, the NFL, that the Detroit Lions might even volunteer last year uh, to be on the show. This year, I think that the possibility is huge. Now, there are 32 teams in the National Football League, and 29 of them, 29 of them have been excluded from the potential to be forced on hard knocks. The remaining teams are the second-year coach with the New York Jets, the second-year coach with the Carolina Panthers, and the second-year coach with our Detroit Lions. I would love to see Love to see. I've been to Allen Park a couple of times, and I would love to see Dan Campbell on Hard Knocks. I do not believe that he would put on any type of show. He would be the same guy that he is in real life, and the one we see all the time, he would be that on the show. Ever since I've been on this platform, this, this has come up because our team has never appeared on this program. A lot of Detroit Lions fans over the years have felt that this show would be a distraction. Me, on the other hand, I don't think it would be a distraction. I mean, you're playing in front of 80,000 people, so you can't have a couple cameras in your face. The bad news is you will not be able to watch HBO Hard Knocks with regular cable. You have to get an additional, uh, the HBO channel, or it appears as though you can have HBO Max, which is one of the subscription service I have. I have the $14.99 one. I think there are two tiers, so you might want to check into that, but that's, we're getting ahead of ourselves. A lot of times that team, the team that's going to be on the show is not announced until like the middle of the summer because it's actually leading up into the NFL season. It's leading through training camp into the preseason and sometimes even during the preseason as well. This information comes from Jeremy Reisman from Pride of Detroit, his Twitter account. Be sure to give him a follow if you like the Detroit Lions, if you want to follow all things Detroit Lions. We're going to go through now and see what teams and how the teams are broken down as to whether they qualify or don't qualify. According to Reisman's tweet, nine new coaches don't qualify. That Those are the nine coaches we just had uh, Sean Payton 
kind of walk away from the game. So that will be another rookie head coach as well. So the term is rookie head coach. So in his first year, he cannot qualify. Playoff teams from the past two years can't be forced. So that would disqualify Tennessee, Kansas City, Buffalo, Cincinnati, New England, Pittsburgh, Green Bay, Tampa Bay, Dallas, the Rams, the Cardinals, the 49ers, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Baltimore Ravens, Cleveland, Indianapolis, Seattle, and the Washington football team. Teams that have been on hard knocks the past 10 years also disqualified the Atlanta Falcons and the Rams as well. We already know the nine rookie head coaches automatically disqualify are disqualified from being forced to be on hard knocks. I can't believe this is the highest I've seen since covering the Detroit Lions on YouTube as far as head coaching vacancies. So I believe with there being three teams, and if you look at it, you've got the New York Jets and the Carolina Panthers. Out of those three teams, I want to say and truly believe that the Detroit Lions are the most interesting of the three with Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, the kneecaps, what we did last year, how we ended the season, how we started the season 0-10-1, and we finished the season 3-3. Three and three. So from that point, I, I, I can almost guarantee that the Detroit Lions will be on HBO's Hard Knocks. The NFL doesn't really look our way, but as I've told you many times on my other channel, we are starting it. The NFL is going to start promoting us very, very soon, and I predict a playoff and or division title win in the next five to eight years. But that's another topic for another day. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, go Lions.